Hi guys, welcome to our channel Fact TV. I am going to tell you about the one of the best modern recent technology in the civil engineering and that is self-filling concrete. Self-filling concrete is a revolutionary technology in civil engineering. It increases the year of concrete by self-filling technique which is very impressive and revolutionary. Because concrete is one of the main material used in the construction industry from the foundation of the building to the structure of bridges and underground parking lots. This project is a part of wider program to study the self-filling potentials of many building materials like plastics, polymers, composites, asphalt and metal as well as concrete in the Delft since 2006. There was a lack of interest from industry by US academics when this theory was first mooted by the research group of Professor Suki Bang in 1990s. Dr. Hing Jonkers, a microbiologist who specifies an expert in the behavior of bacteria in environment. Dr. Hing developed self-filling concrete in laboratory and full-scale outdoor testing started in 2011. Dr. Hing Jonkers has worked closely with civil and structural engineers to learn about the properties of concrete and still reinforcement and develop the concrete. Self-filling concrete is a product that will biologically produce limestone to heal cracks that appear on the surface of concrete structures. Tiny cracks degrade the concrete and corrode the steel reinforcement, greatly reducing the lifespan of a structure. So we need this technology desperately. The bacteria is specially selected types of bacteria, genus Bacillus, along with a calcium-based nutrient known as calcium lactate and nitrogen and phosphorus are added to the ingredients of the concrete and thus self-filling agent can lie dormant within the concrete for 200 years. There are also some disadvantages of this technology. If there is a specialized application where higher compressive strength is needed such as high-rise building, it will not viable. To use self-filling concrete, clay platelets agent comprise 20% of the volume of the concrete that 20% will normally comprise higher aggregates such as gravel. So clay will be weaker than the normal aggregate and reduces its compressive strength. And second disadvantage is cost of filling concrete which is nearly double the cost of conventional concrete. But if the life of the structure can be extended 30% by the doubling of the cost of the conventional concrete would save a lot of money in the longer term. Delp team is currently working on the development on improved and more economic version of the bacteria self-filling agent which is expected to raise concrete cost only by a few euros. We are very thankful to uploading this video because this video got the first prize in collaboration of three universities MU, Mumbai University, SPPU, Pune University and RTM University Nagpur for video making competition in Android Mobile and the most exciting and challenging thing is the duration of competition and that is only 3 hours. So guys if you like our video then please like it, subscribe our channel and share to more and more people. Thank you very much.